possibly because the canoeist sits higher in his boat, this one-bladed breed has developed a roll and in a low brace. The low brace is extremely powerful and well adapted to the wider, somewhat less rideable canoes. The starting position for the roll looks much like that for kayak. Notice that the T-grip is held slightly astern of the body and with the palm facing forward. The sweep is done with the arms and body together and brings the torso up to the horizontal. But here we have a catch. In order to finish the roll in a low brace, the canoeist must flip the blade over. As the blade is flipped, the paddler swings his body over the shaft. The T-grip is lowered and the canoeist is then in a low brace position. Unlike the kayakist, the canoeist comes up leaning forward. But similarities outweigh differences. Once again, keeping the head down and the hip snap are crucial. The techniques which have been presented here are not the only ways of riding a whitewater craft. Here, for example, is a high brace C1 roll made during an Olympic run. Practice your role on the rivers, and you will no doubt develop a style of your own. But whatever that style is, your role will become, in time, your best self-defense. <laughs>